In 2015, from the gates of Hampstead Cemetery, Matthew Ogston began to walk. He walked for 130 miles to Birmingham and he called it his journey to find acceptance. The previous year he had lost the love of his life, Dr Nazim Mahmood, and the circumstances of Naz's death were horrific and tragic and all to do with the fact that his family could not accept his homosexuality. I wrote a song about Naz and Matt, their love for each other, the loss that Matt has endured, but ultimately the incredible uplifting things he has done in the two years since. Uh, the song's called Be The Man, and on this day we met Matthew Ogston for the very first time. In the Guardian article that we read there, where you described the, the reason you set up the foundation was because in your head you heard Naz's voice. Yes. Saying that's what you should do. Yes. Yes, because I was about to in my own life. Yeah. I was on the same terrace uh, and I passed away. I knew where he'd climbed over because the police um, forensic um, mm. fingerprint powder was still on there. I knew the pavement slab that he landed and I knew that if I copied him exactly and followed him exactly and did exactly the same thing in the same place, then I would follow him and then that's the way, way to go. And then as I was preparing myself to climb over the edge, I got myself off of the ground and as I got myself up, that's when I heard Nazi's voice. Mm. And that's when he said, I need to give you a reason to stay. I need you to, um, I'm going to ask you to do something. Um, I'm going to ask you to do this one thing and I'm going to give you that reason to stay. And then I want you to set up a group or a foundation or something that's going to help people like us to stop it happening to us, what happened to us. And now I stood, stood up, I said walking left. I turned right, walked in the flat, closed yeah. the door, locked it, sat on the floor and just cried my eyes open. You must be aware of the massive outpouring of love towards you since, I mean, yes. just from us singing the song on stage and people wanting to share their stories with you or just coming up to us and saying, is there any way we can get in touch with, with Matt or yes. can you pass this on? But there is definitely you know, a massive outpouring of, of love and also gratitude for what you're doing now as well. There is, thank you. I, I mean, that's what sometimes gets me out of the, the hole, because, you know, I do go into a, a depression um, sometimes yeah. and I get myself just stuck in the corner and I don't want to do anything. And, then, and quite often that's when, that's one of the messages come through when you think it's not just a story being shared, but it's actually someone needing us to take action. Mm. Yeah. Um, and those are the ones that pick me up and realise yeah. that I have a responsibility now, which I can't run from. Mm. Um, and we have we have a duty to, to help people. And my love, he was warm and kind. And my love, he was strong. And when his brown eyes first met mine, I knew he was the one. I was at home the first time I listened to it and it just really hit me because it just, um, because it, it was almost as if I'd written it myself with my own feelings and my own words. And yet, you know, here I've sent me this beautiful song that sounds like I've spoken those words and, and I felt those moments. And then mm. I started to think, well, you know, you must have felt some of those moments mm. as well to be able to write the song, the, the line that, what I love the most is, um, or the two lines, is um, when his brown eyes um, first met mine, mm. I knew he was the one. So I remember that night so clearly. Um, and you'd, you'd captured it so beautifully. And I think what's also really important about it in, in your song is um, it's a story. It captures so many elements of what we're trying to tackle. There's, you know, there's, um, there's references to different religions in there. There's references to, to just that path of trying to change things and it's so sad but at the same time so uplifting i probably had to listen to it many 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 times to be able to listen to it without crying my eyes out um, and now i can listen to it you know i can listen to it in public more and it's just lovely to hear people's comments when they also hear it mm. like the, the emails we received from the nova scotia yeah, um, yeah. and messages I'm received so, from glastonbury so glad about that yeah mm. and glastonbury as well yeah to parents if your son or daughter is LGBTQI, just hold out your arms, just give them a hug and just tell them that you love them yeah. because if you don't, you might not one day be able to do that ever again. Wherever mums can't love their sons, 
Because of how they're born Wherever there are hands to hold That's where I will be And I'll be the man